All right, Ken Bednaz, VP of Application Engineering at Tellit. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Chris. So the topic today is modules, and specifically, you're responsible for technical support of modules, module certification. You're helping our customers out a lot. You're in the field. You know what's important when it comes to choosing an IoT module. But first off, tell us what an IoT module is and when it might or might not be right for enterprises looking to deploy IoT. Yeah, absolutely, Chris. So, you know, our, a lot of our focus is around cellular modules. And so cellular modules are basically cell phones with no keypad and display. So we're talking about a cellular device that can use a different, you know, 2G, 3G, 4G LT technologies that support the main characteristics of a cell phone. We support data communications, voice communications, uh, SMS, text messaging, and then also location, GPS positioning. Okay, I see. And then when it comes to scale, I mean, when is it right for a company to choose an IoT module versus going with their own chipset cellular design? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, uh, a module is typically good for any type of IoT deployment that's going to be between, I would say, 5,000 units up to a million units. And so we really focus in that sweet spot and providing the technology that helps uh, be easily integrated into your application and then requires just a little bit of certification work. And so what we do at Telet is we take a chipset from one of the leading providers. Uh, we do a design around that chipset to a module level. So we do all the heavy lifting when it comes to certification aspects. So we do the heavy lifting when it comes to the regulatory certifications, the industry certifications like PTCRB, GCF, and then the network operator certifications. And so we're able to amortize that investment across our entire uh, partner base to give you a very affordable uh, cellular module that can be used for deployments. I mean, in contrast, when you start talking about chipset designs, you're talking about uh, you know, very complicated devices that take, you know, 12, 18 to 24 months to design in, uh, you know, many millions of dollars of certification. So we take all that worry out. We provide you the technology in a very, uh, you know, a cost effective way. Excellent. It helps customers get to market faster. Now, there's a lot of options here. There's a lot of different module vendor options, different, a lot of different module options themselves in terms of what capabilities. So what are some of the considerations that that enterprises should be looking at when deciding what type of module is right for them. Yeah. So, so you know, one of Tell's claim to fame is that we are committed to the IoT industry. And so what we're doing is we're providing uh, a common platform that you can develop on. So you can focus on designing your device and your, your value add and not focus on the cellular technology underneath. And so we have our uh, 910 form factor. So we provide everything from 2G, 3G, 4G LT products with voice communication, without voice communication on the same platform. And so customers just need to worry about uh, what's important to their business. And so we'll talk with customers, understand where they want to deploy, uh, what's the size of their project, what are key uh, aspects of their user experience. Do they need something that's very small and low power because it's battery operated device that uh, battery operated? Do they need a, a device that's going to send a lot of data? Do they need voice communication? So we'll help work with our partners to select the right technology for them. That's an important point, and especially what you're talking about with the 910 family form factor, for example, because we have a couple different form factors, but with the 910 family form factor there, another hot topic that's going on right now is 3G sunsets. Let's say you're a Telic customer, you have a 3G device, and you're looking to go to 4G. Tell me how that form factor makes it a lot easier for that migration. Yeah, a absolutely. And so what we do is we protect customers' investments. So if they're designed around teletechnology, we always come up with a next generation uh, product in the same four factor. So if somebody was designed around a 3G Tele 910 product, like an HE 910 or UE 910, they could, it's easy as taking out that product and putting in an LE 910. And so the LE 910 is our 4G LTE, LTE product. Um, and so they're able to not do a new board design, not do new software development. They can really focus on delivering a 4G product with minimal investment. Exactly, and that's, that's so important. One of the things that is an important consideration when we're talking about module suppliers is making sure you have the supply, making sure if you need to create more devices, we're going to have the supply to, to be able to enable that IoT for an enterprise, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's certain things that we can control. We can control the technology that we provide our partners. What we can't control is how long a network operator is going to turn on or turn off or keep on their 2G or 3G network. And so we want to take that worry away from our partners and provide them with all the technologies in the same form factor with our family concept. And even if you're shortening down, let's say, versus a chipset, the 24-month uh, or, 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 you know, 18-month development cycle, let's say, we're also shortening down the certification with our modules. We go in, we'll help, uh, you know, negotiate or, or work with the, the different certification boards, right? 
Yeah, a- absolutely. What, what we do here at Talent is, you know, my team is what we call our application engineering team. And so we help customers, everything from technology selection, product selection, but more importantly, design and support. And so we're doing schematic and Gerber file reviews to make sure that customer application work out of the box. So when they do that first design and prototype phase, they can take those products through the certification uh, efforts, which are very minimal um, since they're using a pre-certified module from Telit. That's excellent. And I'm sure if customers appreciate it. That's better time to market, faster time to market, and faster time to revenue as well. Just as we wrap this up here, could you give us a quick checklist? What are you know the three or four or five most important things to consider when choosing a module? Yes, absolutely. I think, you know, the, the first thing is making sure they support, um, you know, the regions you need, the network operators you need. And so what we pride ourselves on Telet is supporting all the network operators. So if you take a look just at the U.S. alone, we have products that support, you know, AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, and T-Mobile. So we're not narrowing your scope of your business or your opportunity. Um, what certifications do you have? You know, where can I expand my business outside of the U.S.? You know, and Telet really focuses on global uh, certifications. And then, you know, most importantly is, you know, um, you know, security risks. Do they have device management implemented? And so what we're doing at Telet is we have uh, a very high level of security built in. Um, and we also have device management capabilities to allow you to access that device in the field. And so these are some key aspects is, you know, really where are you certified, what technologies you support, and then how secure is the module. Excellent. That device management point is so important because if you have all these great tools to really deploy and, and really have a large employment out there, you want to make sure you can manage all those devices as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, Ken, thank you so much. I want to invite all the watchers. You can always go on telet.com, on our blogs, different use cases with customers, webinars that we host. We're always distributing lots of information about the IoT module because we are the experts in IoT module. Ken, thanks for coming on the show. Okay. Thanks, Chris.